Hello everyone, so for this activity you will just be needing white cardstock, Crayolas, mainly just the white one, um, water in a cup, I decided to put it in a glass but you can always put it in a plastic cup which is safer for children and you will just be needing watercolor paint and paintbrushes. So you can actually um, do this activity outside which gives children the opportunity to look up at the sky and observe that the stars are not visible during the day. You can have the discussion and ask them why are they not visible um, during the day. They could give you the response and then you can have a discussion about that. Later on you can explain how the sun's rays spread sunlight across the sky so spotting a distant star becomes difficult nonetheless the stars are still there so taking their white crayon they can actually begin to draw the stars on the white cardboard um, sometimes it may not be visible however being outside in the sun will actually help them see them better For example, right now being outside, you can clearly see what you're drawing on the cardboard, even though it is white on white. You can ask the children how many stars they think are in the sky and they can tell you. Then you can ask them like, oh, you can go ahead and draw that many on your cardboard paper. Not only do they have to draw stars, but they can also draw circles that could represent different planets. And they can actually also draw the moon. It's really they their take on the night sky. Sorry. <laughs> like I said, they can draw circles that could represent different planets and then just fill in the circle. It may be hard to tell on video, but in person you could actually see what they're drawing. So by this, they're practicing their motor skills as well by drawing different stars, different sizes. While they're drawing this, they can also interact with their peers and ask them how many stars are they drawing or if they're drawing any planets and so forth. And this can actually be a visual representation of what actually occurs, which is that in the day, much like in this painting, you can't really see the stars, but in the night, they are visible, even though they were there all along in the day, it's really hard to see them because of the sun. And then you can go ahead and start painting with the black watercolor paint and you'll be able to see the stars. So you can go ahead and dip the water brush into the water take some of the black paint and begin to draw as you can see the stars are starting to become visible wherever the child um, drew the circle they can go ahead and paint that a different color maybe like red or orange to represent a different planet so the night sky is becoming more and more visible i can see where i drew the moon so if i like i can go ahead and take a blue color and just paint over that Children can go ahead and use different colors. It does not just have to be black. Like I said, they can draw circles to represent different planets. And where they drew the circle, they can go ahead and paint that over with a different color. Like so. And then they can continue with the black to reveal more and more of the stars. Every child's painting should look different because they didn't have to follow the teachers. They all created their own. That gives them the opportunity to share their painting at the end with their peers. They can tell them what planets they painted, how many stars they painted. 
where is their moon gives them the opportunity to identify stars planets and the moon so now their painting should look something like this like i said everybody would have drawn something different so they would not all be the same but this is how one of them can turn out once they are finished children can go ahead and share with their peers like i said they can tell them what color are their planets they can possibly name them um tell them where the moon is at they can count each other's stars you can end the activity like this however i also have stickers these are some of the stickers you can use um, to allow the children to put them on their painting. I think some like these are really interesting because they can pretend they're one of them and they could label their name on their painting as well. The children can go ahead and just insert their stickers on there. There's more to choose from. They can also add like a shooting star. And really just put them anywhere they'd like. Once they've put the sticker, they can actually go ahead and write their name. I'm just gonna write Alex for the purpose of this video. Okay, so that's the end of the activity. I hope you enjoyed.